Good morning. I am Lynette Roberts, a member of First Baptist Church, Benson, Arizona. Our devotional today is taken again from Stepping Forward, a 39-day walk through Ephesians by Mike Lingenfelter. You can purchase this book on Amazon. It is fantastic. And it's a very good read. Today, we are going to study day eight from the book. What did God do? Ephesians 2, 4 through 9. But being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with Christ and raised us up with him in Christ and seated him us in heavenly places with him, Jesus Christ, so that in the ages to come he might show the surpassing riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Jesus. For of grace you have been saved through faith and not of ourselves. It is not the gift of God. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. The insight this is out of the book because I just couldn't word it any better than how it's written. It would take as many books as there are in the whole world and then some to recount just a small portion of what God has done for sinners like us. But by no means shall we take hold of the full meaning of each one. But I do hope we can, by God's grace, come before his presence and praise him for his unselfish love. The first action was that God loved us. We deserved absolutely no part of this love. Yet this action shows us immediately who God is, a loving God who is willing to come to unloving people. The second action God took was to make us alive in the Son, Jesus. There was no other means of salvation except only to fall before the cross, if only we would fall before the cross. To forgive us, God would forgive us and cleanse us, and then we would know true life. If Jesus decided in the garden to just walk away, we would have perished for all eternity. I hope these words always ring in our ears and in our hearts. Imagine Jesus knowing what was ahead of him and loving us so much, and yet he said, Not mine, Father, but yours will be done. The third divine action is God lifted us up. He didn't have the strength. We didn't have the strength to get up from the ground where we were chained by our sins. God in his grace reached down and freed us and sent our failures away. Oh, our failures. He is so good to us. For just one example, I was thinking, next time you're driving in crazy traffic with that cross swinging from the mirror, Glance at that cross and reflect on our sweet Jesus and what he does for us. How could we act ugly? Most people in the cars around us aren't even aware of us. Jesus is. There is no end to his goodness, and we need to continuously be in a state of thankfulness. The fourth action of God is to keep us with him. Just as we could not save ourselves, neither could we possibly keep by our own strength the salvation God graciously gives. Salvation is not our own works, but gain on our own to begin with. Salvation is so great that once a person enters its house, the enemy is not allowed in, and we shall not find a door that leads out. Salvation has but one doorknob on the outside. God is the only one with the key, and he graciously lets anyone who comes to the Son for redemption in. Romans 3.23 states, it says we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And yes, we all have. But John 3.16 also says God so loved the world. And we're all part of the world. Our challenge is, friends, these are ugly times. Things are scary for people who don't know our Savior. Explain in those conversations that God will never leave us or forsake you. It's just one of the many promises in the Bible. Such peace in those words. This is especially a good time to share the good news. Come on, show people you truly believe and care. Bring glory to God this week by sharing the word of Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. 
Read your Bible and believe in Jesus, and God bless you. Have a safe week.